Hey, hey, wizards, guess what? It is Kieran Trocaller. I'm back for another episode of the Myth Walkthrough, and we are definitely excited, or at least I am pretty excited about what we're doing today. Last time we saw you guys is we had just finished up with the Thieves' Den, and we have saved, um, oh yeah, Istar, but Istar has made some big mistakes. And so we need to go talk to, yep, we need to go talk to the Sultana. Thank you for rescuing Istar, wizard. She made a terrible mistake, but I have forgiven her. I hope you will too. Eh, you know. The house cat lords already know of the Jin conspiracy. When they returned home, they realized their chrono shards were fakes. The question now is why did Ear Kala want the chrono shards? And how do we find a way to get them back? Oh, Master, that won't be easy. They've taken the chrono shards to another dimension, the astral plane of the Jin, a place called Irum Palace. And since I'm just a junior genie, I've never been to Irum Palace, nor have I been told the secret of how to get there. There is someone who might know, a wise desert drama known as the Alchemist. I suppose the wizard and I could go ask him? Indeed, that is what you must do. I will inform the house cats. As before, Istar, treat the wizard as your master, and no bright ideas. Guess this means I'll be staying here again. Astral travel's not really my thing. No, I'll be fine. I'll just stay with the Sultana. All right then, wizard. Er, master. I promise, nothing sneaky this time. We're heading to Caravan to find the Alchemist. Let's go. Boy, I do not trust her, but what's she going to do, right, guys? Okay, so here's the deal. Is remember that Urkala dark genie that we met earlier with, um, who's hanging out with Xerxes? She has schemed with the Look other at genie. This place, Master, I can't believe it. The colors are breathtaking. Someone around here has good taste. <laughs> now, where's that alchemist? Oh, there he is, the one in black. Let's go talk to him. Uh, okay, and so apparently they have like causing big issues. Let's talk to Sandiago. Oh, great and wise alchemist. We have come from afar seeking your wise counsel. Will you grant us an audience? What are you doing? Stop that. You're not supposed to call me that. Not here. Oh, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Yes, wanderer, it's true. I am known by many names in the desert. When you've been round as long as I, these things happen. All right, Istar. If I can recall any knowledge of value, you are welcome to it. Excellent. We're wondering if you might know the secret to visiting the astral plane of the Jinn, Irum Palace. Irum Palace? Why in the blazing sands would you want to go there? Wait a minute. You're a genie. Don't you know the way? No, only the senior Jin are told the secret. I don't know why they make it such a big deal. Well, maybe so they can betray everyone. You see, I... All right, very well. I don't need details. The legend of Irum Palace is as old as the Jin themselves. These days, its secrets are lost. The ancient cats knew such secrets, however, and inscribed them on the Irum tablet, which is said to be hidden in the Hall of Secrets. Go to the ruins of Katstantinople beneath Istanbul and search the Hall of Secrets. If you find the tablet, I will translate the inscription. Fantastic, guys. So that's what we need to do. We need to head over there. So I think the quickest way is to go ahead and grab a carpet back to um, Istanbul. Oh, yeah, there we go. Because we have to go down to Katstantinople and find the secrets of the cats. Let's go ahead and do that. Zippity doo, zippity da. Very, very good. Hey, guys. So this is exciting. We are back on our adventure. My transformation's almost done, so I won't look like a camel anymore. Super excited about that. And we are getting the ball rolling on stopping these genie from causing a serious situation. We are in quest number, I think we're on quest number 96 right now. We start on 94, rescuing Istar. And we are definitely going in the right direction. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see here. Yep, I gotta go all the way over here on this side. Yeah, yeah. Don't you love my outfit? I got the look. Very, very good. Okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta get in here and we got to see if we can get the information so we can be able to get to the Irim the Irim Palace. 
where we're going to have to end up dealing oh, with Urukawa. Master, I've heard of this place. The ancient cats hid their darkest secrets here. Things they wanted no one to ever know about. Okay, so we have to, to de defeat a Tomb of Mystery. Oh, that's right. This is awesome. We get to fight books. Loving it. Absolutely, guys. So, what are our goals today? Well, guys, I'll be honest with you. This could be a challenging... Um, a challenging time because I know we are going to go against a couple of, um, well, we've got this dungeon here and then we have the, the dungeon up in the Eirene Palace and that one has some pretty tough fights that we're going to have to get through. So we'll just have to see exactly how well things go. I know with my Storm Wizard that I went through just a few months back, that's the most recent time I've gone through them, um, there was a couple challenging fights. You know, I think I had to get help in one of them or so. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. I think, you know, we're in a better place than, our, than my Storm Wizard actually was at this point. So I think there's a good chance we're going to be able to get through there, knock him on the head, and move on. Okay, I could try using a Mungo Frog, but I don't think he'll do the kill. So we're just going to pass that. I like how it throws the pages at you. By the way, guys, if you have been enjoying this series or anything uh, pertaining to it, we'd love it if you guys would hit that like button. Oh yeah, hit that like button, hit that um, subscribe button. It really helps out the channel a lot, and those are two free things you can do to show your support. Thank you everybody who's gotten us to our latest level of likes. You guys are absolutely awesome. I want a big shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are killer, and I thank you once again for showing your support. Okay, guys. Now, that's okay. That's okay. The downside is we'll just have to use a potion, but whatever. Whatever. Now, when we do go into the big, the big um, genie fight, we're going to make want to make sure all our potions are fully up to date because we'll probably end up needing them. Yeah, because we got to fight a whole bunch of genies with some major, major um, fights and with some major cheats and stuff. Very good. Okay. Oh, Master, I had a funny thought. Usually it's the books that teach us, but this time it was the opposite. We taught the tomes a lesson. <laughs> Very good. Istar cracks me up. She She's great. She's like the dad joke of all dad jokes. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is what we're looking for. The spirit of inquiry. Let's go ahead. The spirit of inquiry. Guess they didn't want anyone coming here with questions like we're doing. <laughs> Let's take on the spirit of inquiry. I like I like this um this mob or this boss design. Pretty cool looking. Yep, pretty cool looking. Or at least I think so. I mean, you know, everybody has their favorites, right? Boom. Let's go ahead and prep him up for a world of pain. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't want anybody ta asking him questions at all, does it? Very, very cool. Now, guys, just wanted to let you know, t today is March 1st, and we are kicking off a a um, episode a day until we get through... Yep, Imperia. Oh, yeah. We are so close, guys, to finishing off um, this particular area. And it's going to take a couple of good good fights and everything to do it but i am super stoked about it guys so i said we're about to hit march you know one of the nice things about march for me is that i've got a uh, spring break off so that means i'll have a whole week to be able to keep up and get things going so what we're going to do is we are going to do an episode a day for the month of march so 30 days so if we can average like five quests a day that means we could do 150 quests in the month of march and i don't know if you looked if you've had a chance to look um, 150 quests, give or take, um, not, you know, a little bit more, and we will finish our next big dungeon. So I'm kind of excited, or should I say, our next big world, which is Imperia, as well as finishing off, at, um, Mirage here. So, um, if that's something you're excited about, leave it in the comments. Episode of Day for the Myth Walkthrough through the month of March. And if you guys really enjoy that, um, and you watch any of our other channels, such as the Myth Walkthrough, um, let me know in the comments, and maybe we can... I'm sorry, um, the Pirate 101 walkthrough. Let me know in the comments, and maybe we can also do a... Yes, a Pirate 101 episode a day for a month. 
um, to get through Mushu because we're getting ready to come up to Mushu here pretty quick. Maybe we can do that in the month of um, April, and that would be a ton of fun. Call it Pirate Spring Days or something like that. I don't know. If that's uh, if you're enjoying any of that stuff or you're watching any of the other um, walkthroughs, let me know in the comments. Would love to get that feedback from you guys. Okay, let's finish these guys off. We've got another... Yeah, still got another fight after this one, and I think it's a double boss, too. Ooh, double bosses can be challenging, depending on, on um, how aggressive they are in hitting you and what type of hits they hit you with. We got stunned again, didn't we? I, I hate getting stunned. Okay, let's try it again. Very good. You know, the best part so far is we haven't been hit by weakness or... Ooh. Or they haven't put up a shield. So that means we'll be able to hit them full on, which is going to work really well. Pretty excited about that. Liking that already. Okay. So let's see here. We should... Yes. Fantastic. There's the big guy. Yeah, so I'm kind of hoping that maybe we can get through the end of the Genie of Irin Palace. But we've got not just one, but two, or three, but four major fights to get through that particular dungeon, guys. Yep. Any questions? <laughs> then I guess Very we can good. move on. Ooh, we got another macaw. I've, you know, it's funny because it seems like you just end up getting a ton of macaw pets here in Marat. <laughs> the ancient ones wanted to pose the ultimate question. If you seal a cat in a box without going in, how do you know if he's dead or alive? <laughs> the answer is so simple, of course, as long as you understand quantum mechanics. <laughs> the cat is both alive and dead at the same time. <laughs> now you've entered the box and messed up everything. This is forbidden knowledge, of course. You'll have to join us now. <laughs> <sighs> if you're a physics nerd, you know exactly what Schrodinger's cat is all about. So I'm just going to kind of leave that Easter egg there for you guys to go through. Another theme? I hate getting themes. Okay. Anyways. Oh, we got to take these guys down. What should we do? What should we do? Let's just get a backup spell going right there. And let's pass. Okay, we got life one and a... Oh, and a <laughs> other one. And, um... Looks like we... Okay, just a double boss. So it doesn't look like we got any cheats. We just got to defeat him. Very good, very good. Luckily enough, we're not in the area where their hits can be explosively terrible. That gets really dangerous once you get up into um, Imperia, and especially in the two worlds after Imperia, because we're, we're dealing with Caramel. And I'll tell you what, when you get to when you get to um, Lemuria, Lemuria, those bosses, they will hit you hard out of the blue. You've got to be prepared for that. Make sure you have the right, right, right resist. In fact, it's starting to get more and more important to actually have good resist on your clothes, um, or at least a good balance in your outfit. So we're getting to the point where we're going to be getting a quest for some of the best gear in the game. Now, I'm not sure if it's the best myth gear. Yep. Not sure if it's the best myth gear, but, but um, definitely we're going to be having a chance to go ahead and modify our gear here pretty quick. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to decide how much grinding we need to do to be able to get that gear. Because, um, I mean, I, I got to do the research. I got to do the research because a lot of things uh, a lot of things have been changing with the new world releases and everything. And I want to make sure that we're setting ourselves up for um, success. Oh, I don't want to put Frenzy on yet because Frenzy could cause us a problem. Especially if they start hitting us pretty hard. Okay. So, yeah, so the, just so you know, that's kind of where we're heading, is we're getting ready to head up to one of the last points where you can collect some really dominating gear. And I've got to do some research for our myth character, because I'm not sure what is going to be the best gear for our myth guy. Yep. Um, oh, yeah, these guys don't have that much, that much health. I just need to hit them hard. Very good. Okay. So, getting hit by a tree, for sure, for sure. 
We need to just finish this fight. That's okay. One blade and a feint on both cats. We'll be able to knock him out this next round. There we go, and let's seal the deal. My turn yet? Okay, there we are, and that should finish this fight. You know, it'd really be great to get that that um faint where you can hit everybody on. I gotta figure out what piece of gear you can get that on. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I forget what it is, but where it faints every one of your opponents. Do you understand what he was talking about? Still trying to wrap my head around that one. Oh, but look! There's the Irum tablet. Let's get it and take it back to San Diego. Ooh, the Irum tablet. Very good. You know what? I think this right here is worth taking a snapshot of. Very good. The Irum tablet. Let's do it. Okay, back to San Diego, back to caravan. Let's go talk to our buddy over here who's been very helpful throughout our adventures over here in Mirage. Welcome back. I trust the ruins of Constantinople were an educational experience. Oh, yeah. Have the Irum tablet? Let me take a look at this tablet. <laughs> something, something, something there, Bejean. Ah, this is the section right here. To reach the true home of the Jinn, a genie must go home from home. Well, what in the sands does that mean? Ishtar? A genie must go home from home? That's one of those riddle things, isn't it, Master? Well, I'm not very good at those. No surprise there. Then we are at an impasse. Unless, perhaps, the pale genie would know the answer. Yes. Take the tablet to Demuzid. Okay, so we got to talk to Demuzid. You know, so let's go ahead and see if he can shine any light on us. And give us some information we may not have. Demuzid. Demuzid. I don't know if you remember Demuzid. He was the um clean genie. Yeah. There is his there's his um hut right there, but I think we can go through the cave entrance. Yeah, so we don't have to go through the whole Mr. Clean thing. There he is. Let's talk. Oh, it's you again. For the love of all that's clean, please tell me you wiped your feet this time. I'm still decontaminating my tent, you know. You're here about here, Kala, aren't you? I hear she organized some kind of conspiracy among the djinn. As usual, I wasn't invited. Count yourself lucky. I was tricked into helping him, but not anymore. We're going to Irum Palace to put a stop to this madness. That's why we came. We need your help getting to Irum. This tablet says the secret is to go home from home. Any idea what that means? You have the Irum tablet? I thought it was lost. What I wouldn't have given to know this secret a few centuries ago. Now I'm over it. To go home from home, you say? Hmm. Yes, of course. After all these years, to think it's so obvious. It's a lamp within a lamp. You mean we take one genie lamp inside another genie lamp and go inside? Perfect. I keep my lamp with me these days. Can we use yours too? Oh dear, I I don't know. I just finished dusting. Oh, but all right. Just this once. Go on in. Good luck. Let's go on in. Oh, master, it's so clean. If you saw the inside of my lamp, it's... Wow. <laughs> I'd be so embarrassed after this. All right, I'll put my lamp here. Know what? Just in case. I'm going to go in first so I can tidy up a bit if it doesn't take us to Irum. Wow, we're in the lamp. How cool is that? Well, let's jump in Istar's lamp. Oh! The sands. After seeing the inside of his lamp, I realized how messy mine is. I'm just glad you didn't have to see it. 
I can't believe I'm in Irem Palace. In genie terms, this is as fancy as it gets. Oh, Master, this is so exciting, isn't it? Oh, right over here, I put a special magic carpet with a lamp on it. If we need to get back to Caravan, that'll take us. Now we just need to find those jerky djinn who tricked me. And of course, Irkala herself. They're bound to be around here somewhere. But the question is, how do we find them? I guess we'll have to interrogate these genie guards. You lead, master. Fine, let's charge in. Let's take down the genie guards. Well, guys, look at that. We are now up here in the palace of the genie. Very cool. Um, we're probably going to have to go back and fill up some of our stuff. But on um, that, that that's okay. We can definitely take care of this. Um, I mean, potions, that is, because we were already two potions down. And I know going into this fight, we're going to need all our potions. Yeah, because this is not the, not the easiest fight we'll have to deal with. But the good news is that we're getting close to quest number 100. That's what I'm, what I'm shooting for. We want, we want to try to get to quest number 100. So this, um, this fight that we're going to have in this episode, yeah, we're probably going to go a little bit long in this episode because I feel like we definitely need to jump into that last dungeon and go after him. So, do, do, do. you go for it. Hopefully that's enough to finish these guys. Yes, it was. Gosh, why are you bothering us? Not our fault you got fooled. The senior djinn are in the gardens. Gosh, go be their problem. There we go. So let's go ahead and um, mark this location. And what we're going to do is we are going to go home because what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and fill up our... Fill up our, um, let's see here, our potions before we jump into this dungeon. Because this is a one, two, three, four step dungeon, tower dungeon. And there's a boss at every step. So we're going to end up having to defeat three bosses and then fight Urkala at the end. And it says Major T with Urkala, so I'm, bet you, I'm betting, just betting that we're not going to be able to faint her. So we want to make sure that we have the right stuff in our deck, um, which I think we do. Okay. Very good. Let's jump into this action now and get going. We are fully ready to bring the hammer down on Urkala and her dastardly plan. Oh yeah, it can't be good. Oh, look at all the nice little things around here. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, let's do this dungeon. Okay, we are definitely going to be a, l a little bit over half hour for, but we'll call this we'll call this a big genie episode. Yeah, the big genie episode. Okay. Well, well, if it's not my favorite two fools, Ditsy Istar and our Patsy Wizard sidekick. But why in the nine planes are you here? Let's see. You lied to me, betrayed me, and left me in the clutches of Ali Baboon. I might say revenge, but we're above that, aren't we, Master? No, no, not really. We're actually here because you stole the Chrono Shards, and we're here to take them back. I think that sums it up. Your petty little intentions are irrelevant. You're not worthy to be in Irem Palace. Come closer, Junior Genie, and I will show you why. Okay, so first we get to get to take care of this wonderful piece of Genie, Seamus. He's certainly a very not... Yeah, he's a jerk. Yeah, let's take him down first. Okay, very, very nice. Ay, ay, ay. My deck is just like being all sorts of stupid today. Okay, let's get this up. We need to go ahead and hit him with a feint, a couple blades... And we are done here, and then we can move on to the next one. So all of the genie ended up um, betraying, betraying their house cat. So if we see Seamus here, that means we're probably going to see the blue, the old blue guy, and the um, and the and the glass and the bespeckled green genie as well. And of course, we you know Urkala is Estar's dark um, opposite. So we're definitely going to have to deal with her. So let's go ahead. And let's just set these guys up for a nice house cleaning, right? Oh, beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I, you know, it's not a fight unless I've been stunned. Ah. <sighs> Could be worse. They could have hit me with um, Lore Master, and that would have like put a weakness on me and all sorts of pleasantness, unpleasantness. So 
Very good. Okay. Very good. That, I like to see that. But I'll be honest with you, I should probably put at least one more blade up before we do the final hit, because Seamus is a little bit over 10,000. I want to make sure that we knock him to the next week. Awesome, he can spend his time oaring left and right. I'm, I'm not afraid of that. Okay, is it our turn? Yes, yes it is our turn. Let's oar for some. There we go, just a couple more. Very, very nice. Now guys, I do want to remind you, if you want to support the channel, another way you can always join our Patreon. So below the links for a few dollars a month, you can show your support. And I just want to thank all of my Patreon subscribers. You guys are absolutely awesome. And don't forget, if you join our Patreon, that gets you full access to our whitelisted vanilla SMP Minecraft server. So if you like to play some Minecraft and you want to play on a fun whitelisted server with a bunch of great people, I told there's you your way in. I wasn't healthy. You were there. I may be a junior genie, but I've learned a thing or two over the centuries. Would it be wrong if I said I enjoyed that? <laughs> I hope not, Master, because I did. I really did. <laughs> now, who's next? Who's next? Well, let's go find out. Let's go ahead and power up. And it looks like your buddy Nash... Oh, it's, it's about time. I've been waiting for you two to come. I was on your side all along, of course. Oh, really? Let me get this straight. First you betray the Baron, then you betray us, and now you betray Irkala? And you expect us to trust you. Well, when you put it that way. Fine, you figured me out. Are you happy? I hope so. That way, you can enjoy your final moments. Okay, let's get rid of Nurse Kurgel. You know, he seems like a pleasant... No, not really. Okay, let's let's get these guys. Now, I think he has some fairly significant good health, okay? So, let's go ahead and start setting it up. Ooh, we might we might need a witch's call, but let's pass on that for right now. Oh, speak of the devil, there she is right there with her weakness and her um mess. That's okay. We can handle that. Not a problem at all. Let's see here. Ah, now that's good to see. So let's go ahead and start loading up some blades. So we're probably going to have to put an extra blade up than we did last time to make sure that we have a big enough hit to finish them off. But we also need a feint or two. And we need to get rid of his balanced minion there. That guy, you know, he's putting up a, some shields. I mean, those shields haven't affected us yet, but we definitely don't want to have to deal with that for sure. Okay, well, get it over with. Yeah, there you go. Very good. Check it out. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get the feint on the big guy. Eventually. There we go. Let's see here. Well, we've got all sorts of options open to us. Let's just go ahead and or through some right away. And then we can follow up with the additional hits in case this doesn't finish off Nash Kirk. Wow. Last time I bring up Lore Master again, they're just hitting me left and right with Lore Master now, aren't they? <laughs> Okay, here's hoping our spell doesn't fizz. There we go. Very good. Very good.
Well, this will be a good hit. It may not kill him, but it'll definitely, um, definitely send him sideways. But that's okay because of that Shadow Pip I have in my deck. We're going to be able to get him here in a second. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Well, let's go ahead and do that. It's frenzy time. I feel like swinging at something. With a little bit of, um, Bobby Yaga. Boy, that spell's so cool the way they reanimated that one. I don't know if you guys remember the old animation, which was good. It was just, it just took longer. But I'll tell you what, the new animation, it's pretty awesome. That, that's, that, um, portal opening upstairs and then boom, dropping, dropping the, um, Forest Lord right there on top of you. Pretty awesome stuff. Okay, Papi Yaga, finish him off. Wow, my health took a beating there, didn't it? I like how the genies be appreciate being defeated. Only one of those traitorous airbags left, old Murdak. Now, where do you think he's hiding? Well, probably through the next um por portico. There we go. Oh, what have we here? A familiar face, I believe. Oh, yes, I remember you two. From Tabby Manor, of course. A messy business, that was. You remember betraying us as well? I hope so, because you're about to pay for it. <laughs> I suppose I can drop the act at this point. The doddering old Ginny. I can't believe you fell for it. You realize gin don't age. No, growing old isn't something we gin get to enjoy. Of course, it's a luxury you won't be afforded either now, wizard. Come, let's end this. I agree. Let's end this. Okay, now, I think I had trouble with him with my storm guy, but I think I might have tried to go in without enough health. That's one of the tough things with storm is um, your health is a challenge sometimes. Um, you know, let's go ahead and just throw some blades up first. And maybe we can go ahead and get the, um, potent for our trap, and then we can go ahead and boost, boost our faint to a higher, to a higher level. Because he, Murdoch here, he has some health. Yeah, he's not skimping on the health over there, so we want to make sure that we can get the most out of it. Okay, not complaining about Lore Master anymore. As soon as you complain about her, that's all she does is shrug. Huh. Very nice, okay. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? Um, perfect. Well, let's just go ahead and put a couple feints on him. Well, unless we get the potent, we won't be able to do another feint. That's okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I get the idea. We cut it out with the lore master. Jeez. Oh, that faint just got disbanded. How terrible. Okay, well, let's go ahead and set that up, and let's try. Let's go ahead and get this going. Excellent. Finally got that on him. Ah, uh, isn't that perfect? Looks like we won't have to um, do a double attack after all. Oh, perfect, and we're getting hit before I put the other one on. Good, so we won't get, like, plus 30 and plus 40. That can turn into a pretty big hit if you're not careful. Boy, he can keep on casting those as long as he wants. 
Oh, that's a beautiful thing right there, guys. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, well, let's finish this. Okay, time for the moment. Okay, just crossing our fingers, we have enough of a hit. Maybe I should have waited for one more um, blade. Nah, the two feints will probably finish it off. Perfect. Are you kidding me? The genie guard survived that? I don't even, I don't even know what to say about that. That's so bizarre. It's so business. I mean, I I don't even know. I, I can't say. How did how did he survive that? Oh well. I guess the I guess the um, armor that he had on there. Yeah, the armor must have been pretty significant. Yep. And thus another lore master hit. Jeez. Okay, can I finish this guy off now? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Weave, it's our turn now. Another macaw. a little worn out. Maybe we can come back some other time for Irkala? Oh, fiddlesticks. I know we can't really do that, but I have to admit, she makes me a little nervous. Makes All you right. nervous. Chin up, Istar. Let's go. Makes you a little nervous. I remember having trouble with her, and I know she has some significant cheats, and I don't remember what those cheats are. Um, let's see here. I, you know what? I'm going to take a moment... Just, I, I just want to see, okay? Um, let's see here. Urkala cheats. Let's see here. Don't join late. Uh-huh. Don't use a blade. Oh, traps will trigger a uh, damage aura on her, but stacking them is the best method. Ah. Okay, no blades. Very cool. So let's go ahead and adjust it. It's, it's worth looking up cheats, guys. It, it honestly is. So, let's just go ahead and block the blades, and, um, yep, you know, we've got indemnities, but I think we can stack them without her getting them. Traps will trigger a damage aura on her. Well, I think that's fine. And I don't remember if we're going to have to deal with... Uh, now what? You? Both of you? I was told you'd be in the Shadow Realm by now, wizard. And you, Istar. I imagined you conjuring bananas somewhere. <laughs> Wait, you actually know my name? I thought you didn't care about us, Junior Jen. That we didn't even merit your attention? Oh, don't be mistaken. You most certainly don't. But now that you're here, I suppose I shall have to deal with you. Come on, then. Don't delay. Oh, you know what? Before we go in there, traps are the best tool. So let's see here. Yeah, I don't have any traps down there, but I do got some traps right up in here. So let's go ahead and and let's go ahead and make sure that we have the right stuff. We're gonna pull these out because I don't think we'll need to worry about those. But we do. It might be worth throwing one of those in there. Okay, let's go ahead and take Urkala down. Okay, let's go ahead and... Let's put that on her and see what happens. Now, does she fight solo? I think she fights solo. We're going to find out here pretty quick. There you go. 
don't think it says anything about it there in in the um, in the cheat guide, but I don't think she's going to be that tough in the end. Okay, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Yeah, we definitely need to hit her pretty hard. So do we want to use Orthrus? Um, no, we're going to want to... We'll, we'll keep the frog around. But it looks like... Yeah. No blades. I think blades trigger something we don't want. Very, very good. Okay. Well, it's kind of nice that those things are there. Um, but we'll just pass. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, is it my turn again? I am not getting any of the stuff that I want, am I? Okay, well... Let's see here. I don't really want to put that one yet. I'd really like to get at least one faint water. Ooh, is that like a shadow troll? Very cool. You don't see spells like that around that often. Very, very nice. Uh, perfect. Let's go ahead and start layering some faint water. Okay, a little bit of damage over time, but we can handle that. Heck, we already have enough pips to do the calendar. Although Baba Yaga would be a much stronger hit. Oh, amusing. Ah, no, so that's the trigger. Yeah, when you throw a faint on it, it triggers a damage. Oh. Well, as long as it doesn't put a big weakness on me. Aye, aye, aye. That was significant. Okay. Um, here we go. We do got Baba Yaga. So the question is, is do we go ahead and throw Frenzy on and try to use Baba Yaga? I think that's going to be the call. Yeah, let's do that. Instead of doing a double feint, because I don't know how much health I can handle with that. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, that um Shadow Genie hit was significantly strong. Ooh, she hit me pretty hard there, too. Okay, we gotta try to finish it this next round. So I'm thinking we're doing pretty good. Yeah, we might be able to pull it off with a Baba Yaga hit. So I say, let's go for it. Right, no time like the present. Oh, as long as she doesn't kill me. Yeah, we, we can't wait. We can't wait. Oh no, we can't wait at all. Okay, here we go, guys. Biggest hit I have in the deck. And the plus 40, so it might be enough. I don't know. Oh, that was so close. Did you see that? That was so close. We almost nailed her with just that. Okay, here's the good news. Is I got a celestial calendar. Let's finish her off. Would you believe it? My storm guy had tons of trouble with her. Yep. I think I had to fight her like three times before I finally got her. Don't even know why it was so hard. Don't even remember why, for some reason. It was, in fact, I had trouble with the guy just before this, too. I guess that just goes to show you my, my, um, my current storm, my current, my current myth guy is way stronger than my old storm guy. No, you can't. How dare you defeat me, a human wizard and a junior genie? It's not possible. It must be all the stress. Yes, 
It must be. You've earned an explanation at least, I suppose. Come to my sanctum and we'll have a pleasant little talk, yes? And then you'll leave. Okay, so let's talk to Arcala and find out why she is helping Grandfather Spider or whatever reason she's doing it. Let's see. Ooh, this is cool. I want a nice picture of her. Okay, let's do this. There now. This is better, isn't it? A polite conversation between former adversaries. I shall endeavor to explain myself. It's true, I made a mistake. I knew Xerxes wasn't who he claimed to be, but I had my own agenda. I wished for the liberation of all Jin. So I struck a bargain to steal the chrono shards for Grandfather Spider. Only too late did I learn I'd fallen victim to the most classic trick. Grandfather Spider will grant my wish. We will be liberated. But only when he reverses the sands of time and literally unmakes the spiral. Yes, you heard correctly. Spider will use the chrono shards to turn back time and erase our very existence. All of us and all of this. I fear there's nothing any of us can do at this point. I suggest you inform your friends so they can make the most of the time they have left. Well, that's depressing, isn't it, Master? Let's go back to the Alchemist. Or er, Santiago. Maybe he'll have some idea of what we should do? And just like that, guys, I think we're going to have to call it. So now that we know the genie's plan and we know Grandfather Spider time, we can... Spider's plan, we can totally do this. Guys, don't forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for the Myth Walkthrough. This is Kieran Trollcaller, played by Kimmy Say. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.